Hello and welcome back. This is Frederick from Tech Nordisk going to give you a short overview how we can trigger uh, on DDR, how we can use that to trigger to search and isolate the bursts we want to do eye diagrams with and finding you know common errors in this. So it's going to be a short video and we're going to focus on something we call visual trigger. As I hope you know uh, DDR is a bursted signal and you can see that from here kind of in a burst and there's two ways to either read or write and uh, we need to isolate them and if we go back here and just uh, and I do a single shot we can see single so in this case this is a read burst when it goes down and up and down and hopefully we can find another one uh, yeah here's a write cycle to do so this short video we will try to focus on trigger on, on one of these this is a read burst so what I do is I take my mouse, hold my left button in, and create a visual trigger area. And I right click this one and say it must be outside channel 1. I create another one saying that it must be outside this one. I just add and I right click. It must be outside channel 1. And then depending on the length we want to do, you know, in this case it's really short, maybe we want to have it up here. Uh, but we can just run this just to see how it works. So you can see this and what I normally tend to do is you know have an infinite precision just to see what kind of birds inside the signal and if there's something more I want to trigger it's very easy for me I can only trigger on this one I can just add visual trigger area and I will only trigger on that portion of it and if I want to trigger on this part of it I go down add visual trigger area and I will trigger on that one so in this case, you'll be able also to, to trigger on specific words. You know, I, I don't have the you know, DQ enabled yet, but I could have. Uh, and you can see that the DQ is all over the place. Uh, but this is really the basic. You draw a line where you want to be able to trigger. But the good thing comes in when you will be able to start analyzing using the setup. So I remove this one. I right click. Uh, delete area and I will just move this up a little bit make it a little bit bigger move this up like here so I go to display and get my old display back so now we go to the utilities we have here uh, which is a DDR and here's the setup so you know if you buy the DDRA uh, option this is what you get so you set up your generation and you set the so uh, data source in, th in this case it's 1066 in most cases, and we don't cover this in the video, how to get the DDR signals out, uh, but you know they have an interposer soldered in the probes and you need to de-embed a lot. And this is when you buy an interposer from us, you get a, 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 a de-embed filter that you add here to take away an effects of the interposer. You have the measurements here. In this case, it's not the right burst, it's a read burst. Uh, uh, we did the read and we take the data height, for example. Might make it simple. And it should be channel 3 take away channel 2 and, and here we are and I maybe I should tweak this to, to have a 50 also yeah so here we are we're running everything is fine the purse detection mode here we're gonna use is visual search and uh, threshold and scaling you can use this first time you know to click this once but make sure that you unclick him the next time otherwise the scope will go to auto set in vertical horizontal mode all the time other thing I you know it's important that you look at this measurement threshold. If I have a little bit noisy signals, go to manual here, remove the auto set, and put the history to around 30, 30 millivolt. And then we're done. I go to plots here and I will do an eye diagram and just add this. And I just do a single one. So let's see if the finding edges and do something. Yeah, it's not much data, but this is it. So I can make this a little bit bigger. I can put it over here. Uh, and we can just run for a while. So you will see an eye diagram here staking and this is very simple and I can control exactly where I want to do I can find the faults and I can also and this is the beauty of this if I have more time like this it will it can even do it better like this so let me try this one I put a sample rate a 50 giga sample and I just go out so we have like a 2 mega memory I go back here I go to clear I do it a single shot. So now we'll do a 2 meg and you will see immediately here, up here. These are all the read bursts that we find and we define them by just drawing. And if you go into uh, search here and the result view, you can just 
go through and you can see the location, the delta time between each of these. It's so simple. It's so simple. Uh, in the beginning, uh, you also have the opportunity. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry for that. You have the, also the opportunity to choose other settings. Uh, so some people actually do for the burst detection method go for this DQS face alignment, and if you do that, you know, not much difference. The thing is here, you can really, really pinpoint out the things you're interested in. You know, the, the small things. And you can see here, I didn't set up the, the histories as good enough. So I hope you, you know, enjoy this video. I can show you some uh, more uh, stuff. Uh, go back here to uh, uh, recall default setup. And there's another thing we can do. We can kind of try to, to trigger on this. This is a trick I learned from Tad. And it's about the read bursts. So in case of read bursts, it seems to be that they're always a little bit higher in voltage. So you could potentially do s something like this. You put this. Uh, add visual trigger area and of course you take it you should be outside channel one and then you kind of try just to tweak the top ones here uh, add visual trigger area and this should actually be also uh, the, the right bursts so that's a that's a s simple way of doing if you want to go for the read burst you can just go here, must be outside of channel 1. See? Uh, but that is a trip from Tad, uh, I didn't invent that. But, you know, it's kind of cool that you can do that. Uh, if you want to do some uh, other kind of, you know, uh, isolation of bursts when you do some eye diagrams and you know, rendering an eye, I can show you, you know, a few seconds how you do that. It's a little bit more tricky. Uh, but maybe we we'll skip that for next time. I, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you will uh, catch up with me soon again. Cheers, bye.